finally. Keep talking to me, I got a net one. Did it come off? Yeah. No, no, it came off. guys Cody Dyson here with Tennessee Christian Bass Anglers rolling up the road right now to Bristol we're gonna pick up TNCBA member Cody Snyder we're heading to South Holston Lake today for the first icy guides of the winter season uh, we've got a full moon right now so the crayfish are moving uh, just had some rain move through this evening um, and overnight we're gonna be looking at probably four or so different techniques talking about uh, crankbait long a tight line to fly and of course, it's East Tennessee, so the Namiki.
than the last one. One seventy nine. Right, guys so i wanted to wrap up this video kind of recap what me and snyder did in that icy guides uh, we went out with the plan to throw the crawfish fly and the wind was so bad that that really that was tough in a lot of places and we we catch some of our fish as you saw in the video on that fly but then we had to make an adjustment with that wind so it was overcast it was windy this time of year i uh, had some luck on on a glide bait so we changed up and we picked up the the Gantia by Jackal uh, in that trout color. And again, we, we got around the laydowns and we started pitching that in there uh, and actually had a, had another fish, caught, caught one really good fish, caught another keeper um, and had another really good fish come up uh, on that bait but wouldn't take it. So we're out here again. It's actually a week after we were here, uh, me and Snyder. So, but making that adjustment put a few more fish in the box for us to give us um, close to 10 and a half pounds. Uh, so things didn't quite work out the way we had hoped to. We had gone in there without any practice. It had been over two weeks since either one of us had been on the water. But our, our goal was that fly and the, the water temperature was, was right, but it's still getting there. Um, so we had to make those adjustments based on the wind and that's, that's the key. You just got to keep adjusting and making adjustments if you're, if you're ever going to get in the winter circle. So uh, on to the next Icy Guides. It'll be on New Year's Day. So we'll keep on trying to make some adjustments, get some practice time in while we're both out of school for Christmas break. So we'll see you in the next one.